go on yeah. with them. Yeah. And the other thing is uh, to in order to be fair, because sometimes some of you couldn't access the class perhaps uh, due to the server issue or something like that. So you can watch it again on YouTube. And the other thing is because I will report our class to the head of English department. There's a proof that we do have our class online. That was all. I'm not thinking about subscribers. No, not all those things. <laughs> my my <laughs> is for um, is for my own professional activities, not for other things like that. I think I'm if you're staying. Okay. That's all right. It's uh, believable. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the people if they like it. Go ahead, subscribe. If not, that's fine. Okay. So we. I'm about to show you the PowerPoint uh, uh, presentation. Okay. Here. Oh, it's not being shown up yet. Hold on. What did you do last weekend while I'm up here? What did you do last weekend? Sleeping a whole day. Uh, Sleeping a whole day? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Working in the night and sleep a whole day. Sleep all day. That's good. It's good for you. <laughs> but don't do that quite often because it's going to make you like being tardy. Mm -hmm. okay. Can you see it now? To share screen, sir. Yes. Ah, it okay. appeared. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. All right. I just want to make sure that you can you can speak. It. Um, I don't know. My voice seems to be repeated over for my speaker. Maybe uh, would you turn off the? Okay. Connection kind of sucks, sir. Okay. All right. So I'll try to um, the reading view. Okay. It's, it's, it's over there. Um, it's social communication. What we have talked about this one before. Um, some of you still joining with us. Sir, um, can I reconnect? Yeah. Yeah. My connection is kind of bad. Uh -huh. I try to reconnect for a second, for a moment. Okay. Can I? All right. Check? Sure. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, so uh, we have talked about Unit 1, social communication before, and we also have talked about Unit 2, personal life. Um, and we have talked about family life uh, with uh, families falling in love, marriage, having a baby, and all sorts of things, uh, growing old, and community and consumer life. We talked about this uh, last week. Now we are going to talk about this one, staying healthy. Uh, the first one is taking care of yourself, which is, of course, you need to do that. No one would take care of you rather than yourself. Um, otherwise, after you get married. And staying healthy outdoors. And then we will be talking about home remedies, medical care, emergency care, pharmacy, poisons, and counseling. Okay. okay. Let me start by saying Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I hope everything is going to be all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the first one, um, taking care of yourself, which is quite important these days. If you do not take care of yourself, who would take care of you then? Um, unless you are a child. If you are a child, then your family might take care of you. But in your age right now, you should be taking care of yourself. 
You see in the picture, we have, um, I think it's one, two, three, and four pictures. Okay, while we're talking about the pictures, the question is, number one, what are the two men eating for lunch? This one. What are the two men for lunch? Just like junk food. <laughs> junk food. Sandwich. Sandwich. Mm -hmm. Is there any hot dog? Yeah, yeah, this is hot dog. <laughs> they call it hot dog. Uh, this is pie. Slice of pie, you know, slice of pie. Yes, I know. And this one is, um, I think it's salad. Someone is joining us. Then number two, which land is more nutritious? Which, which food has empty calories? Which one? Mm -hmm. The fruit, apple. Fruit. Yeah, it, it's it's more nutritious. Apple. Can we eat fruits all day, every day? Yeah, sure, yeah. but we, not. we have to eat something else too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. We need to combine many sorts of food so that we can have uh, many nutrition and uh, vitamins into our body. I'm trying to use my my uh, earphone like this. Okay. I'll be... Okay. Now, um... This one, page, question number three. What is wrong with a young woman's dinner? What is wrong? Mm -hmm. What is wrong? Sorry, sir, sir, I can hear you. Ah, you, you cannot hear me. Okay, I'll take it off. And question number three, what is wrong with a young woman's dinner? Uh, I think it's not delicious. <laughs> not delicious. Yeah, this is a good answer. <laughs> uh, not delicious. And I think it's this one. Which one is the young woman? This one, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, that means you see the plate where she is having her dinner her plate yeah. is quite small i think it's about the, the portion the portion of the food is a uh, is uh seems a very limited and quite small i guess you see the picture yeah i think she's having it well but it's Diet is good, but if you if you want to be thin just for that, it's going to uh, torture your body. Yeah, yeah. Don't being being thin or being fat is just a matter of uh, look. I have seen uh, thin people who are good looking, but also there are fat people who are. Good I pre personally prefer the character personality rather than what I can see. It's it's such a different story. Um, question number four. What is her mother thinking? What is her father saying? Uh, Try to imagine. What? Her father uh, kind of met. Mm -hmm. If let's say if I'm if I'm her mother, I would say Oh dear, you eat too small. You need to add more to your plate. Yeah. Oh dear, when I said oh dear, it means not not sayang seperti dear John. No, it's not like that. Oh dear, seperti uh, like this one. Aduh, sayang sekali. That's the expression. Oh dear, oh that's bad. For example, um, what is her father saying? He's mad. <laughs> He's mad, pointing his finger yeah. to his daughter. Well, you know, typical man. 
And number five, are the family members watching TV taking good care of themselves? This one. Picture num this one, num question number five. Are the family members watching TV taking good care of themselves? <laughs> Quite good, yeah. Quite good. Okay. Um, not really, I guess. Just some, some of them. Some of them. Only the the mother, I guess. She's having yeah. a sport in front of the TV, but her husband doesn't seem to care that much for his healthy. I think it's consuming soda and chocolate and the kids watching the distance uh, of their eyes to TV. I think it's a bit close. You need to have a little distance with your TV screen, right? This is not LCD screen yet. <laughs> Look at the TV. It's not LCD screen. So the TV is going to uh, having sort of sharp blue ray blue light to mm -hmm. number six how is an active lifestyle better for your health than a sedentary lifestyle active lifestyle with sedentary lifestyle sedentary this one is sedentary this this is sedentary this is active Okay. We were talking about this one with the vocabularies. Number seven, what health risks are the people at the party taking? Health risk, this one, health risk. They're drinking, they're smoking, they don't pay attention to the time, they're having party. So what health risk don't you think would happen to them? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Heart, heart attack. Uh -huh. we, we can use this, this vocabulary in here. Maybe you know that they're going to have anorexia or anorexic. You know anorexic? Anybody no, knows? No. No. Anorexia, uh, it's a kind of disease. When you eat something and then you throw it out again. That's anorexia or anorexia. Mm -hmm. And um, for quest uh, picture number four, if the question is what uh, health sure. is, yes? I think it has something wrong with Google Meet. Something wrong with Google Meet. Okay. Yeah. What I, happened? I don't know. It's just me, but everyone uh, has the same thing too. Mm -hmm. It's my screen. It's freezing. Like the uh, the share screen not appears, and the other videos mm -hmm. not appears too. Okay. So, uh, Tiara, can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Okay. What about the? Uh, Muhammad Al Fatih, can you see the screen or my voice? Yes, but uh, it's stuck. It's stuck. Yes. Okay. Stuck in black screen like this. You do. I can hear your voice, but you have no video or anything like that. Oh, yeah. okay. So you you cannot see the picture. Uh, no, I can. Okay, hold on. Um, I will I'll try to stop sharing. Okay, now the, the sharing has been stopped. Okay, Fadli uh, Sudirman I don't know what's wrong. Okay, now I'll try to do the screen sharing once again. Mm -hmm. Now you can see my face now, right? Yeah, yeah but it's freezing. The screen is freezing. Yeah, a lot, like uh, a lot. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, does does that mean that you you cannot? But you can see my my hand, my my face, right? Yeah, but it's, sometimes it's good it's for now. Sometimes okay. it's freezing. Oh, it's freezing. Okay. So I try to share again the PowerPoint slides. Um, Your video is just buffering, sir. Oh, buffering my video. Okay. It, it, it looks fine in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see what can we do about it. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. I uh, try to share screen again. Can you see that? Yeah. 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 Can you see it now? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. All right. So it's about the um, active anti anti calories low fat diet. Uh, so this vocabularies and these words that you can see on screen. Um, we have the word. I think you know cholesterol. Do you know diet pills? Never look at it, but I do know what it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, diet pills is a pills that that you consume to be thinner for Some having a diet. promote it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Yeah, diet pills, mm -hmm. empty calories, empty calories. You know, cheap, cheap, yeah. crispy chips. Uh, that's they have empty calories. Although you consume them, uh, many of them, but they don't have any calories for your body. So it's it's totally different story. Energy, excessive exercise, uh, fat, uh, fattening. You know, fattening. Getting fat. Fattening. The oh. word fattening. Uh, number fifteen. Uh, no, getting fat no. maybe. Ah uh, yeah. No no, it's not being fat. Uh, fat. Fattening means the process of making something into fatter. Uh, you know, fattening. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, like in a cake, you know, kue bolu, mm. kue bolu, kue bolu, bantat, bantat means uh, thin and uh, muscles. <laughs> uh, but you make it fattening, whoop, uh, you know, bigger in size. That's fattening. We can gemuk, membesarkan, fattening. But usually, it relates to human body. Greasy, we have fitness. You know that already. Fitness. Uh, greasy, greasy. Um, uh, some so it's, it's sort of uh, like not really healthy. Greasy. Number nineteen health risk: low fat diet, nutrition. Okay, saturated fats, sedentary. Is there any words that you might not know before? Any words? Calories from fat, appetite, anorexic, um, yeah, and sedentary. Number twenty-seven. Oh, seven twenty-seven. Um, sedentary. If you if you look at the dictionary, you know. Let's see what do we have in here. Um, just just so you know that. Um, oh, not migratory or doing or requiring much sitting. So that's sedentary. Sedentary means your lifestyle that make you sitting all day. Uh, you sit from the morning and then you sit again for lunch, you sit again in the afternoon, you sit again in your motorcycle or in your car, and then you get when you get back home, you sit again, <laughs> you know, like I'm doing that. Yeah, this is sedentary. Not active, active is different. Active lifestyle means you go to um, go to school and then you play with your friends and you went to the library. It's being active, not just sitting. My life yeah, is sitting. That's, that's, mm -hmm. that's a boring activity, right? Um, now, the next one. Uh, oh yeah, 
another student who would like to join, maybe I'm not able to let you in um, because I'm, go I'm afraid that it's going to be freezing again. Mm. Okay, so the next one is staying healthy outdoors. Staying healthy outdoors. Mm -hmm. Interesting. What is happening in each scene? One, two, three, four. What happened? Um, picture number one. It's uh, where does it take place? Beach on the beach. Lake. Eh? Beach. Beach. Lake. Yeah. That's a lake. Yeah, it's, it's a lake. lake. It's a lake. Yeah. It's a lake. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Because it has some wood in back next side of the mm -hmm. lake. Okay, I see it. Yeah, <laughs> there's some woods, some woods in in the distance, uh, far far away. Um, it's impossible you see woods on the sea, right? <laughs> mm. uh, and well, great sun and all that. And I think they're having sunbathing. You know, it's not sunbathing. It's going to the lake and swimming um okay there is a little boy who's about to be drowned he's going to sink <laughs> i don't know it's, i think it's terrible this little boy i think he is shouting for help help me right right over here and this this man is looking at him Okay, now that's what happened in the picture one. What about uh, picture two? What happened? Um, uh, uh, something. Mm -hmm. I think it's, uh, uh, you know, this is flower and this one uh, having, uh, you know, this this bugs or bees b yeah. Honey yeah, bee? yeah i think it's honey bee is there any word in here related to that a pollen yeah. no that's just bug ah sting. sting you know sting sting, uh, sting. yeah sting um, uh, and i think it's a uh, and it can also, it can also mean bite Related to bite, uh, the bees bite the man f after um, he disturbed the bees. Bees, Look at this. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, fly. Okay. Now, what about the third picture? Y you can use this word in here. Yes. This one. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Yes, rattlesnake. If you, uh, if you only use the word snake, means uh, this is snake in general, many types of snake. But if you use rattlesnake, it's a specific, a snake that has something on its tail. Yeah, you you know how it sounds. Uh, I'm not gonna share. No, we don't. We don't. You need uh, to demonstrate it to us. <laughs> I need to demonstrate to the class being a snake. Okay, all right. Um, uh, so this is the snake, you know, on its tail. Uh, it it produces a certain sound, like uh, hus sings like that, and <laughs> and usually, what do you know where we can find rattlesnake? Uh, usually in dessert. In dessert? dessert. Did I say dessert? Dessert. Desert. Desert. desert yes. Not dessert. If you yeah. find it in dessert, people will get mad at you. No, people um, die. People die. <laughs> a lot of people are dead. <laughs> yeah. You can find rattlesnake in desert. Yeah. And we can also find the word uh, heat exhaustion. Heat exhaustion. It's a feeling of uh, being, being so hot under the sun. You see this cactus? This is a cactus. And the distance of the sun is a bit close. Mm. And oh wow, this is scary! Look at this. I think it's, it's a bone. That's yeah, it's a uh, uh, bone. Skull. More likely a skull. Skull is yeah. that the the head skull? No, no, no. It's skull like a what do you call it? Buffalo skull. skull. 
yeah. yeah buffalo school um skull so you can find that oh, wow that's a bit scary if you walk around in here in this place mm, um, okay now heat exhaustion and we also have hay fever hay fever hay fever is a sort of a fever when your body is becoming a bit uh, fever or high in temperature because of the surrounding areas a bit cold during the day it you can find heat exhaustion you, you experience that but usually in this place like this when you walk at night the temperature is about to be freezing so you will have hay fever um, yeah that's 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 probably what happened hay fever in saudi arabia or in the desert during the day it's hot but then during the night it's cold well that's what i've heard and uh, what about the fourth picture what happened no mm, yes no no way. yes this is what i'm talking about the, the high fever mm, and slip slippery <laughs> this is what happened uh, slippery slippery is an adjective while slip means uh, is the verb uh, slip slip off slip off uh, just like this one um, when you when you carry something or you put on your mask it's like this one I'm having my mask on. Um, you put it in here and then suddenly when you want to when you want to talk and it falls down to this. Now that is slip, slip, slippery. Um, the image of falling down that doesn't happen because you intended. Now that is slippery, slippery slope, slippery slope. Uh, you you get the idea? Slippery slope. Uh, lichen, yeah. That's uh, it's uh, slippery. It's the uh, lichen. Sunblock or sunscreen. Do you need sunblock? Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Because no, our body, if you were born in Indonesia, then you don't need sunblock because you already, your body already produced a certain oil that can protect your body from the body. Some but, of us maybe still need it. Sir. Yeah, some, some, some of us, um, especially if you are afraid getting darker <laughs> yeah um, but anyway if i think it's a, it's all right if you if you're a little bit darker that's all right that's fine um, <laughs> if you if you enjoy enjoy um if you ever visit the museum of uh human ecology how how human develop of, uh, and also the race racial images have you ever seen that no. No. racial images from one country to another country i'd like to see it online the pictures of the art of the human human body so if you see people from asia and people from africa from uh, Mediterranean, like Middle East, uh, from America, Australia, or even from England, and from um, Arabia, Arabic countries, as well as from uh, North Pole, you know, North Pole, Kutu Utara. If you really see the way how people uh, appear, their body, it's, it's very interesting to, to notice that. <laughs> Um, people in Asia tend to be uh, tropical. Their skin is a bit, a bit oily and dark. But if you compare it with people from Canada, America, or from North Pole, their bread, their body produces more oil than us. Miga. <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't say. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. That's a very offensive for for black people. Don't say that. It's it's annoying. 
<laughs> no, sir, I think uh, it's not. Uh huh. What? Not what? I think it's not annoying since uh, you know that. Well, for you, it's maybe it's not an. I think it's more than annoying. It's it's, it's an insult. Yeah. You know, it's it's an insult. Um, like in Don, when you go to Malaysia and some people call you in Don, it's an insult for your identity as an Indonesian. It should be clearly called Indonesian instead of being in Don, because the meaning has a different uh, inclination right there. Um, yeah, it's just, <laughs> it's a different ways of how to see that. Now, sunblock or sunscreen, uh, well, somehow you need sunblock if the day is too hot for you to bear. And question number, let's say, uh, number two, um, we're not talking about animals because we don't have any vocabulary option right here. What we'll do, we have scorpion, rattlesnake, um, bees, bug, well, yeah, we do. We have a bug. Mm -hmm. Okay, health problems. Um, okay, is there any word that you might know here? Number 20. Number? 20. What number? Oh, 20. Uh, poisonous. 20. 20. Poisonous. Yes. Poisonous. Okay. Poisonous means it, it contains poison. Poison poisonous. So when you for for example, when you touch your hand onto its surface, then your hand will be pollen or you your hand will be you feel your body trembling. That means it is poisonous. Yeah, it it contains poison. It's an adjective. Poisonous. So, but do not use this word for a man or a woman. Don't say that. Just say toxic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just say yes. Uh, what, will I add? what the difference between uh, poisonous and venomous? Oh, okay. Venomous is only used for snake, cobra. Only snake. Okay. Yeah, snake. It's a venom. Venomous. Venom. It was actually originally from Australia before, uh, and in the sub-Saharan desert, they found a certain type of a snake that can kill the prey immediately. That's venomous. Okay. That's a different. But poisonous can be found in even in plants. It grows in a certain countries or certain areas, and then when you eat it, you will become ill. Now, the thing that is inside the plant is called poisonous poison. Okay. Um, so, it's it's the the different thing is that even in even if you get poisoned, you can still have a life, but there is a certain uh, type of time before your death. <laughs> For example, one hour. For two hours. Well, that's gonna be tough. Yeah, this is like poison, poisonous. Um, you vomit. You're having a dizzy head, and then you're you're clumsy. Suddenly, your your eyes blurred, and you, you felt that you want to sleep all the day, but then. Um, <laughs> like, now that is being poison. Actually, it has one or two hours before you die. Yeah, and, and and poisonous not only from animals, not only from plants, but it can also from human. Yeah, good poison. Shut up. Yeah, mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that is poisonous. Uh huh. That's a different thing, right? Okay. Um, and then this one, um, stinger. And then poison ivy. You know poison ivy? As in, I don't know. 
poison ivy is a certain type of animal it has poison it looks beautiful but it will kill you if you eat it if you touch it if you smell it that's poison ivy a sort of any sort of plant precaution precaution means a certain type of warning before you touch something or you walk into something or you eat something that's precaution the symbol is triangle with um uh, with, with that kind of uh, letters inside with bones that's precaution warning sign you know yeah yeah it's tanda seru di tengah-tengah yang segitiga that's precaution all right now that is about staying healthy outdoors mm-hmm. but be also careful that if you go other town you're not wearing jacket and you just open your clothes like that wearing singlet or <laughs> underwear make sure that you're having a bath that day don't let your skin dry mm. don't let your skin too dry make sure you have having a bath because you need your skin needs a certain attention to be healthy okay we move on to the next one we have home remedies uh, look at here home remedies wow what is this mm, one two three four what illness do the two women have number one what illness uh, probably fever fever yeah. okay uh, fever or having a uh, dis- Uh, it, it, it's fever. The, woman thinks, the woman thinks maybe. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, from this picture, I I think the woman uh, um, having a yeah, this is a certain type of flu. Look at her nose. Uh, she got yeah. in wind. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. In wind. <laughs> in wind. <laughs> Is it true in wind when you call it masuk angin in wind? Yeah, there's no such a thing as in wind, but it's a joke in Malaysia, so why not? Just get it. Okay, masuk angin. Actually, I never heard masuk angin in English anyway. Yeah, it's masu just angin. flu. As in yeah, yeah, it's just flu. Just just flu, influenza flu, or of having a, um, a sort of a fatigue. You yeah. know, fatigue. Yeah, I and. Think. This woman, yeah, she's having an influenza, the same type influenza. What different remedies are they using? Remedies, what different remedies? The other one is uh, mm-hmm. take a rest mm-hmm. and take her is that medicine or COVID, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I think that is a medicine. Mm-hmm. While the other is still working, mm-hmm. but They're looking really tired. Oh yeah, that's right. That's a different thing. That's good. The first picture shows that the woman consumes, uh, I think it's tea, herbal tea or hot, warm water, and then she's having a rest. This is a pillow. While the other woman seems to be going to work even though she's not feeling well. Right. A working woman mm-hmm. yeah okay that, that that's quite sure Maybe and which of these remedies do you prefer why which one do you prefer oh i, I do prefer to take a sleep and take a rest that's a very comfy situation for me so i can sleep all day long mm-hmm. as much as i can okay what about the rest the rest of you which one that you will take <laughs> I don't know. Everybody would take the rest. It's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody will take this one, right? The first one. In certain condition, when you work, um, I have experienced this one before COVID nineteen. Long before that, uh, I was having a um, not really fit condition at the time, but. Was, I need to finish my job, so I have to go to campus and to to finish that 
Um, yeah, and then after that, I go home and take a, take a sleep. <laughs> and uh, number four, what other remedies are there? Okay, um, okay, we skip that. We talk about number five. What health problem do the two men have? The two men have what problem? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I like this one. Second picture. Um, I think they're having back pain, right? Yeah. Back pain. Uh, back pain is nyeri uh, punggung. And numbers. What difference? Okay, you can see the different remedies. Number seven. Which of these remedies do you prefer? Why? Which one do you prefer? Uh, the right one. The right one. Yep. No one. <laughs> I hate being. Being what? Being. Uh, how I say it? Uh, being an injected. Old injected. Yeah, injected. By injected some with with needles. Or, yeah, something. With needles like that. Wow. <laughs> so creepy. Mm. <laughs> we should try one day. We should try. Um, I never did that before anyway. Yeah, I agree. I would prefer the second one. I just go with video. I I have my uh, my brother or and sister when they were still young in elementary school. I occasionally ask them to walk on my back after I got back home. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, it's and I have to pay, and they said, um, "Okay, I will walk on your back, but you need to pay one minute for ten thousand." That's what they said, and I said, <laughs> <laughs> "Oh wow!" I said, "Is that the way teacher teach you at school to do something and you ask for money?" Yeah, they said, oh, "Wow, that's I don't know." <laughs> um, mm, I prefer the second option. As well, this is the remedies. Now we have these vocabularies. The first one is acupuncture. Acupuncture needle. Okay, this one is acupuncture needle. Yeah. Um, you know all acupuncture already from the pictures, sort of like this yeah. one when you see people put the needles on your head, uh, back and the thighs and the the torso or the feet. And three, alternative medicine. Have you ever heard this one? Yep. Yeah, alternative medicine. You go to, you go to Dukun. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that word. <laughs> alternative medicine, being alternative. Um, witch doctor. Yes. Yeah, no, it's, it's not the witch, though. It's uh, um, okay. paranormal. Uh. They call it paranormal. Not the witch, though. The witch. <laughs> they are different. Witch, paranormal um, are different. Two different things. Uh, witch is, is paranormal, but not all paranormal are witch. This is different. Um, and we have back pain. You know that already. Bed rest, capsule, you know it. Congested. Congested. Copper bracelet. <laughs> Copper, copper bracelet when you put it on your um, neck, and then drowsiness, drowsy, drowsy when you feel your head is so heavy, mm. heating pad, herb, herbal tea. I like herbal tea. I like it so much. Uh, when you drink tea, for example, the tea tastes like flower. I like that. And made of flour. Essence, yeah, I know this is the essence. I know, but it feels soothing, you know. Especially when you go to someone's house and then um, you enter the house. The house smells so good, and the person wearing a nice clothes, and she offer you tea, and after you drink tea, tea. <laughs> okay. after you drink tea, you you you've been talking together like friends. Well, I don't know. That sounds like something else to me, but I don't want to talk about it. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. it's, 
Well, it, you, you can make your own imagination, Adit. Yeah. Why not? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I take that. Yeah, people people have their own imagination, and I really appreciate that. Um, we have number 14, illness, insert, uh, liquid, uh, massage. Uh, do you know massage? Yes. I don't know. This, this day, the word massage seems to be... Um, I don't know, some people say it's bijad, massage. Are they the same? Maybe. They're different. Maybe. They're, they're different. What? Yeah, oh, they are different. different. Bijad and massage are different. Bijad is in Bahasa Indonesia, massage is in English. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Come on. Uh, you just pranked the whole class. <laughs> Ah, uh, you got prank. <laughs> I'm proud of him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think it's you have been thinking so complicated. Think it simple, okay? Think it simple. Um. Uh, and we have lulur. They call it lulur. Lulur for um. Do you know lulur? Yeah. Yeah, lulur. Do do we have lulur in English? I don't even know. Lulur. Maybe lulur. <laughs> lulur. No, it's lulur is actually um, in English they call it spa. Uh, spa with, oh. Yeah, spa when day. you Yeah, I have doing a spa before. Uh for special for, for men for example. So it has candles, uh, nice aromatherapy. <laughs> And uh, the therapist uh, having that beautiful, not beautiful, the, the, the room is beautiful and the atmosphere makes you a bit relaxed. And then you have that uh, massage or therapist like that. It reduces, it creates that kind of uh, relaxing hormone from your brain. So you will fall asleep and you feel relaxed. That's, that's the whole point of it. I think it's if you feel so stressful, I think you, you could try to have that kind of uh, surface. Uh, I'll skip. I'll pass that on. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I prefer Some to sleep. <laughs> you prefer to sleep? Yeah, I prefer <laughs> I did. Yeah. yeah, I will. Okay. That's all right, because the, the stress level that you have might not be as big as the, the others. Perhaps it's okay. That's different condition, and we have muscle muscle spasms, muscle muscle spasm. It's the, when you when you wrap your muscle and then you press it like that, muscle spasm, so that the blood can run through well in your body. That's muscles. We have natural, non traditional medicines. Recover, you know that already. Recuperate, uh, recuperate when you do it again for healthy reasons. Um, respiratory infection, yes, COVID-19 is also called respiratory infection. Uh, penapasan, respiratory penapasan, infeksi saluran penapasan, mm, rubbing alcohol. I hate alcohol so much. I don't like it. Um, I like it. Mm -hmm. Why do you like it? It has a uh, nice smell. <laughs> it, I, I smell them. My mom, mm -hmm. my mom is a doctor in this case, so mm -hmm. she has a lot of it. So okay. Just smell them. <laughs> Have you got drunk? Have you got drunk? Mm -hmm. uh, up to this point, I never got drunk because of it. Maybe uh, I can hold it. Okay. Well, I in my experience, I have seen people got drunk, uh, consuming alcohol. They look like lunatic. <laughs> so they consume alcohol and then they talk. They, they talk random words, and I said, "Hey, what are you talking about?" And boo 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 things like that. And when they wake up after they vomit, some people when they got drunk, they vomit. Yeah. Some talking stupid things. Some doing crazy things they open their clothes and they're jumping and they're feeling so happy like a crazy person and they sometimes get you and then hug you uh, they said anything 
So people got drunk. After they got drunk, they will fall asleep. After they fall asleep, then what? After they wake up, they said, "What happened to me? What did I do?" So I said, "You got drunk." Yeah. <laughs> they lost their memory. But have you ever know. tried it, sir? Me. I I I noticed that I I don't mean I don't mean to disrespect them though uh, they were my friends, um, but when they did that I said, well guys for that matter that's your thing that's your alcohol thing I don't drink it, I would rather stay in my bedroom and I lock myself up, <laughs> you guys outside. Um, that happens when I was in the states then. Uh, they have a low score at the time. Well, some of them, not some, not all of them, but two of them have low score, and they try to release that kind of disappointment by having um, beers in the apartment. And I said, "Oh, that's bad," and I didn't join. I'd rather I I sit together with them, and I said, "I don't want to drink. I don't like alcohol, but give me Coca Cola instead, or Fanta, <laughs> or, or milk." Yeah. Or, or milk. You can give me milk, and and one of them, one of them said, "What? You're asking for milk? Why? <laughs> okay, just keep that. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was that was a nice experience, though. You should try. You know, when you are in the middle of uh, that kind of crowd, when people having alcohol uh, party, and then you're asking for milk." People no. will get what? Yeah. <laughs> you, you you will become the weird one. People will kick me out. <laughs> but no, but these guys now they they still let me in. Um, yeah, it's all those all those um, good old memories. days. All those yeah, this this those memories when I was still twenty. I think it was still I was still twenty five at that time. Uh, no, you may be thirty. Now I'm I'm old right now. <laughs> you don't want to say your age, <laughs> okay? Whatever. Yeah, I'm I'm old right now. I I I am almost forty. <laughs> mm -hmm. Almost forty. Almost well, forty. Minus <laughs> You look like uh just hit thirty, sir. Oh, early thirties. Okay. All right. Like um, it. Mm -hmm. nah, 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 I won't say that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, don't don't talk about age. You know, uh, it's just a sensitive issue. <laughs> well, that's in in the Western, but we're in Eastern. We we do talk about age. Yeah. Oh, okay. But you are speaking in English, okay, man. <laughs> <laughs> If you are speaking in English, then you bring up the English culture. In a year. Yeah, that's that's uh, cultural appropriation. Thank you okay. very much. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So see, this is a different thing. Um, that's that's the thing. Okay, when you learn uh, speaking up in English, then that means you also learn to immediate their culture in the way, but but not making you change yourself. No, I am so me, minangkabo person, Sundanese. Indonesian, but I speak in English. That's the different thing, and that's good. They they like it. Uh, one of my American friends says like this: They like you when you appear as who you are. Uh, yeah, appear as who you are. Be be genuine. Be authentic. If you're a Muslim, show what Muslim is. If you if you don't like alcohol, just tell them they like it like that instead of. Uh, <laughs> mm. They will get confused. They will get confused because they they want to know about us, about Menangkabo culture, and they know that we don't drink that often. And they will look at you. Wow, you look so different. I heard that Menangkabo people do not drink, but you drink a lot. <laughs> so see what happens. Oh. Yeah, there's there's a uh, well, we still be friends. That's what I said. And we have uh, soothe, soothe, soothe that is the verb form of soothing, uh, stuffy nose, stuffy nose, meller, hidung meller, stuffy nose. Uh, the runny nose is the same. Yeah, yeah almost the same. Runny, runny nose, stuffy nose is uh, 
hidungnya mepet begitu stuffy there's something inside okay. uh, tablet traditional medicine viral <laughs> you know that already now that is about home remedies okay the next one have medical care um medical care okay we have blood sample complaint contagious crime crime Cram, uh, it is already taken into Bahasa Indonesia, cram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tangan cram. I hate not... it when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that happened because something uh, with your nerve system. Nerve, you know, your nerve, your yeah. sarap. Uh, yeah. if, if you slip uh, from the right side like this, and then you hold your hand below your body, then your nerve will be blocked by your body weight and the blood doesn't run well that will make it cramp um i experienced that as well so um and we have complaint cramp examining room you know examining room mm. examining room so for medical in the medical care for example you are, you go to the hospital and then for example you go to singapore or malaysia and then they want you to come to examining room <laughs> examining room means when when the patient is is uh, being checked to see the diagnosis oh yeah yeah being checked to see the diagnosis or the symptoms or the the illness and the doctor will will touch your body here and there with with stethoscope stethoscope um with uh, with their tools to see your heartbeat your blood pressure and to see your eyes your mouth in detail so they would say okay this is what your illness is then after that you will be taken care into the uh, medical room and we have flu shot general practitioner mm, practitioners uh, doctor umum immune you know that already immunization to the umum yeah immune immunize immunize um, infection infectious disease you know this one infectious disease penyakit <laughs> menular no no infectious disease is a sort of disease that um that can cause infection on your skin uh, seperti bernanah begitu infectious disease okay. so if you are bleeding you have to clean it with a clean water warm water and then you put um betadine or sort of thing and then you put it with cotton bud and you wrap it up so that it will protect it from being infected by bacteria or virus that's infectious disease inoculates um i'm not quite sure about inoculate but i think this vocabulary is being used for uh, plastic surgery physical examination prescribed primary care uh, physician um, physician is being taking care of the physics rash uh, rash something on your skin that's rash uh, refer um, Stethoscope, yeah, I was stethoscope. Throat culture, I never heard that. Twenty-five throat culture, tongue depressor, upset stomach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you have you ever experienced this one? Twenty-seven upset stomach. I think I'm just gonna call it stomach H instead. Maybe that's okay. not good. Stomach H. Well, if you say stomach edge is still broad, still oh. broad, yeah, yeah. stomach edge instead of upset stomach. Upset yeah. stomach means that you feel, yeah, it's um, um, your your stomach feeling pain. It's not well. So I'm a throw what happened? Yeah, yeah you, you you feel that you're going to vomit. Yeah. What happened with this picture? Uh, what happened in here? They're in the waiting room. Good. Good. What happened to this man? 
She opened a field back pain shopping. And Shopee haunted me. Help! <laughs> My wallet is not safe. <laughs> what? What happened to Shopee? Man? He just uh, it just gave me uh, some promo or something like that. Uh, you, know, you know what happened these days? Uh, they can give you ads or promotional information like that based on your internet activities. Yeah. For example, you you have clicked link to Sophie and then the website will save your URL and your mobile phone device. So whenever you enter your Instagram, also you log into Instagram, you can see uh, advertisement from Shopee or even Lazada or from uh, Blibli or Media, things like that. So depending on your internet activity. They're not going to give up. As long as you live, they're not going to give up to sell the stuff. Yeah, that's mm. internet map is all. You cannot escape mm -hmm. once you get in. So be careful with what you send and what you send, what you upload, what you um, transfer on internet. It's being recorded. Uh, but that's all right. If you don't, if you doesn't mean if you do not have any bad inclination, that's all right. You don't have to be worried about it. And we have specialists here: referral, um, okay, vial, uh, vial. Let's see what do we have here. Vial, um, vial. Let's see. Do you know any the meaning of vial? Like veins, veins. Uh, it's a, a small closed or closable vessel, especially for liquids. Hmm. Jadi bagian yang tertutup itu, tapi digunakan untuk liquid. It's a vial. Oh, contaminated glass, something like that. Yes, this one, like this one. This is vial. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Yeah, this yes. Is vial. Um, um, yeah, it's it's now this one. We, if you studied this, this is called ESP English for specific purposes. For example, I teach medical students English, it's a different with you. So they learn specific vocabularies for medical fields, and when I teach uh, students in the faculty of law, they will also learn vocabularies specific for law. Uh, like human rights, all those things. Human rights, love, line, um, vow, things like that. Okay, what is she doing? What is she doing? Mm -hmm. Examining who? Her patient. Mm -hmm. um, this one, we call this one. Physical examination. Physical yes. examination. Physical examination. Mm -hmm. So, um, <laughs> what is what you study, have you ever heard about human anatomy? Yeah. Yes. I think I did. Yeah. Yes. If you study human anatomy, it's uh, to describe the human body in detail. Um, you study that today from book, right? Mm -hmm. In 18th century or 17th century, when the medical science was was being constructed, they study human anatomy from the real human body. I don't want to talk about it. That's disgusting. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it. That's, that's gruesome, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you go back to study history, you will see that it's it's gruesome. Really? Our, um, human body. Okay. <clears throat> All right. We move on. <laughs> emergency care. Oh, okay. See, now this is emergency. 
Uh, we have day surgery, chemotherapy. Oh, what happened to this? To the man's hand, the baby. Oh, something bad to his head, and someone is dying. Yeah, probably that. Okay, we just focus on the vocabularies then. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> the book shows us about this one. So healthy is expensive. Okay, healthy. It's so expensive. You need to. You need to take care of that. The first one is ambulatory. What is ambulatory? Ambulance, ambulance. yes. Yes, ambulance. ambulance. That's, that's a car, but ambulatory? Uh, people in the ambulance, like, I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. Probably. Mm -hmm. Okay, ambulatory is uh, a certain condition when you send the uh, patient with the ambulance as ambulance. Bandage, this one bandage. Bondage, uh, blood, you mean bandage? Uh, not bondage. <laughs> you cannot say bondage. <laughs> bondage <laughs> means ikatan, you know. Bondage is ikatan, yes. bondage. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I misread it. I, I thought it was okay. using O, but it was A. Yeah, my bad. Mm. So. Yeah, bondage. <laughs> Oh, I think maybe you want to have a bondage one day. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've been to that kind of stuff. Okay, all right. Uh, oh. Someone someone <laughs> is looking after you after that. Yeah, they okay. might. Okay. Uh, blood work. Wow, this blood blood work. Um, I, I, don't, I don't like to see human blood. <clears throat> uh, it's, 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 it's scary. Yeah. Nice. Except, except in movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the movies, fine. I'm, I'm not scared. But to it see it in the real life, you go to the hospital and you see humans bleeding, or that's, uh, that's scary. That probably yeah. kind of thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can relate uh, to that. Um, number four, compress, co-payment, cover, cover. Are you never ready? Critical condition. What is this? Well, someone at the death step probably can be safe or can be safe. Ah, uh, dying. Yes, dying. Don't say about to die now. <laughs> yeah, but that's that. This more like. Yeah, close enough to that. But critical condition is the condition when you <clears throat> see a patient is 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 uh, having its. Uh, 10 or 20 percent of uh, chance to live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number nine, dressing. Yeah. Dressing, you, know, you when you wear a certain type of dress in the hospital. Yeah. Mm, fracture, yeah. gurney, gurney. I, I never heard about the word gurney yet. Gurney, what is that gurney? Um, let's see, what do we have here? Oh, it's a wheel cord or stretcher. Wheel what? cord. Wheel cord. This one wheel. is gurney. Oh. Okay. Wheel cord. Wheel with the roda. Wheel is roda, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, healthcare provider, health insurance card. You know that already. Health insurance plan. <clears throat> identification bracelet. Oh, brace identification bracelet means something that you wear on your neck and then people can see your name and picture oh yeah that's identification oh it's a uh, it's like you 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 wear it on your uh, neck and people can see your card in here that's identification bracelet press, press, press. and you can also put it in here on your hand yeah Using a ribbon? Yeah, it's a ribbon. And you know, people can see that, oh, this is a patient. Yeah. And you cannot run away from hospital once you get inside. Well, I can run away from hospital when I came inside. I'm good, <laughs> at, I'm good at running. Uh, when you're being a patient, I mean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, not not the regular person. We have injury in passion in 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 passion in passion. It's a different word. Life threatening. Life threatening is um, 
when you when you encounter something that if you really get close to it your life is being endangered that's life threatening um, for example you like to swim on the in the beach beach padang beach for example and there's a sign be careful of sharks oh that's lovely and you still swim there and you said i don't care with the I shark <laughs> well that's life threatening <laughs> that not as loud not life threatening that's just stupid oh. <laughs> yeah that's stupid i know uh, but for medical terminology that's called life threatening oh no that's mental illness that's obviously mental illness that's not life threatening <laughs> Yeah, uh, also consuming drugs, that's life-threatening as well. Yeah. Paramedic, paramedic people who work in the pharmacy, that's called paramedic. Sling, swell, swollen, treat, treatment, treat and treat. Treat can also mean structure. Yeah. Yeah, I treat you, treatment, block one. Mm, okay, now this is a good question, number four. Who should be treated first? Second, third, why? Number four. Who should be treated first from this picture? Uh, if they're dying, there must be the first emergency. Yes. Something like that. Yeah, if they're dying. Yeah. Second is all people. Mm -hmm. Second is all people. Uh, and then the third is a pregnancy woman. Mm -hmm. And then, or, or, or a child. And mm -hmm. then uh, the general, and then the general. Okay. Or someone, someone who just being hit by a vehicle or the accident. Yeah. Especially yeah. Be taken care first. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Now we come to the pharmacy. Pharmacy. We have addictive antibiotic. Can you say this word? Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it. That's the antibiotics. Um, I hope it works. It's showing you antibiotics. Antibiotic. Oh. Yeah. Antibiotic. This is the this is the male version. Antibiotic. Biotic. Okay. Antibiotic. Antibiotic. Antibiotics. <laughs> antibiotics. Oh yeah. Antibiotics. Some people say antibiotics and some people say antibiotic. I would prefer this one. Antibiotic. Antibiotic because we have biology. Biology, bio um biography. So it's a antibiotic. And we have dosage. You know dosage? Dosis. Dosis, good. So that was supposed to initiate dosis, dosage. Dose. Dose. What's the difference? Dosage and dose. What's the difference? Dosage and dose. Dose. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, dose pemakaian. Pemakaian, dosage. Dosage. Uh, the dosage is a general general type of dose. Dose is more specific to a certain uh, medicine, for example, tablet or pills. That's the dose. Um, or liquid uh, liquid medicine with bottle. That it has dose. But all all medical um, pharmacy they have their own dosage. They, they they would call that drug druggist. You know druggist. Like, what do you call that? Drug ahli, ahli mm -hmm. like that. Oh, okay. Ahli of the drug. Yeah. Ahli, ahli narkoba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not really. It's there's a difference between medicine and drugs. This is different. <clears throat> medicine and drug. Medicine is usually derived from uh, pharmacy, that's medicines, um, and drugs is, is the, the thing that you consume for your body to be healthy, that's drugs. Medicines are more general than drugs. 
So drugstore, drugstore is uh, yeah, toko obat. Empty stomach, expiration date. You know that this super Superman, full stomach, generic uh, muscle relaxant. Oh, okay. Muscle relaxant. Okay, I think you need this one after you go climbing to the mountain. Anyone like climbing? No. Uh, yes, sir. No. no. I like climbing. I don't. Like, hiking, I hiking, <laughs> you, you need to have permission from your parents. Yeah. Um, okay, me too. Mm. But I like, I like climbing. <laughs> uh, I did that when I was 17 years old, 18 years old with my friends. I think we went to um, Gunung, Sebelum Gunung Merapi, what do we call that? the time uh, before Merapi mountain we went there and we climbed by walking and then um, I think I quite enjoy the moment when when we turn on the fire build up the pen mm -hmm. but Did now find some hunted forest sir? Yes. Uh -huh. Did you got some hunted experiments or what Ah, uh, well, um, we we did experience that about that haunted things. Um, one silly mistake that I did was I urinated in the place where <laughs> where I supposed to not do that. What 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 did you do? Urinated. Oh. P P P. Yes, 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 I do. I do. I, I, I get it. I get it. You are a boy. You know that already, right? Imagine I was seventeen years old. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. <laughs> if you see me now, I am wiser enough. But Wait, when I was right? when I was seventeen, I didn't know at the time. So um, I to, at that night, I got fever. My 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 head was kind of uh, heavy. I got fever, and uh, we. We, um, I think we met with local people and they said that uh, oh. I was being followed. <laughs> Did you see some of Kuntilana or Pochung or what? <laughs> no, no. No, I never see that directly, but my friend yeah. did. Yeah, my because friend uh, did. When, when you are in about the new and about mm -hmm. health, when, when, climbing in mountain in the forest you will yeah in that condition you may see lots of scary things such as ghosts or what yeah yeah you know you know those things you the names um uh, i f i felt that but i didn't really see it i sense that they're there but i didn't really see it in my eyes this that's that's my friend did that it's a, it's a girl and she said oh that's there and that's there and mm. she said that she saw Champa, Champa like that. Champa. <laughs> I don't know. You know Champa? I don't. It's a, it's a local term for um, that kind of entity, you know, entity yes, yes. That, that, that exists in, uh, it comes closer to your tent and to see for foods and like that. And it's like okay. tall. As tall as the coconut tree. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. And like, I know what you say. Well, I I didn't see anything. I just see, oh, that's just dark night. That's all. Mm. Um, I never see sort of things. That's just even until today. But mm. I felt it. Yes, I did. I felt it. But I didn't see anything bad. There was just. <clears throat> well, I don't know. Um, we have, I know, so when you feel your muscle a bit tough, then you need this one, muscle relaxant. Do we have muscle relaxant here? Yes, we do. You can have muscle relaxant, for example, um, Sangobion. No, no, it's not Sangobion. Um, <laughs> when you use it into your muscle and then you, uh, you must touch it a little while. Counterpain. Yes, counterpain. Correct. Right. 
Bonsai. Yeah, yeah, you are correct, 100%. That's muscle relaxant. <clears throat> narcotic, non-narcotic, okay, don't go here. Non-prescription mm -hmm. drug, over-the-counter drug, also the same. Uh, this kind of drug is called non-prescription drug, but some people call it over-the-counter drug. Mm. Okay. Non-refillable. Non -refill so this is the, the root word is here, fill. Fill. The suffix, you know suffix? Akhiran. Oh, yeah. yeah, in Buhan Akhir. Uh, fillable, if you just fill an apple means uh, fillable. Fillable means something that you can fill it again. Uh, bisa DC fillable, refillable, refillable. It means this is prefix imbuhan awal dari kosakata. Refillable. It means that it bisa DC ulang maksudnya. Refill ink, refill, uh, refill bottle, refill things like that. Non-refillable. It means the same thing. It cannot be refilled. Tidak bisa DC ulang. Once it is over, then it's done. That's non-refillable. For example, um, blood bag. You know blood bag? If you go to PME, you see the blood bag. I, I donor my blood, for example. So I noticed there is a blood bag when my blood was being transferred into a certain bag beneath me. Then that kind of thing is a non-refillable uh, object. Jadi benda yang tidak bisa diisi ulang. Once the blood had been used, then you should throw the blood back out. Ya, harus di uh, jangan dipakai lagi. That's that's what it means. No refills means if even to bisa disulang tapi tidak ada isi ulangnya. <laughs> that's that's what I call no refills. Um, painkiller. Painkiller means you you want to um, release the pain feeling in your body, that's what it is. Pick up prescription drug, refill, relief, relief and restriction. So, do you know re relief like this? Mm. Yeah. Uh, long. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, that's cool. long. Really. Um, okay, after you have that kind of stressful condition, for example, and then you feel Oh, that's relief. Prescription drug, mm -hmm. Okay, we we'll move on. That's that's the important words that relates to a pharmacy. Poison. Now, okay, you have a good question about poison before, right? Now we're talking about poison. Look at this one. What happened to the boy? He ate leech. He ate yeah. leech. See, this is the this is the sink or the wash towel in here. Um, uh, the the mother put the detergent or uh, pest pesticide or things like that in here, and the boy got inside and he drank something. Uh, that's, that's very bad. Mm. And what about this one? What happened to the man? He um, expired food. Uh, it's not uh, no, no. no. Unhealthy. <laughs> or the food is so spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. His stomach can afford the air. Yeah. Okay. Is it spicy? Chin, right? Maybe. Okay. Mm. Look, look at here. There are some flies in here. Flies. No, spicy. Uh, it's like. Uh, in a bad environment, something like yes, that. Yes, yes. So he is having, now that is called as, um, we have here the word, um, I think we just call it food poisoning. Yeah. Or, or, or you can call it uh, um, stomach act. That's, that's, the, that's the easy one. So mm -hmm. when you when you buy a food in a in not in a clean environment that this is going to happen to you, you felt your stomach is kind of uh, heavy and painful. Um, antidote, 
chemical, childproof, contaminates, so all those vocabularies. You know, here, insect, insecticides, okay, this one is insecticide, that's insecticida. Oh, that's that's <laughs> very oh. bad for you to do that. Hey, yeah, uh, hazardous, hazardous means uh, more dangerous than poisonous, like this one. Hazardous can kill you instantly. Oh, that's... Um, harmful is a lower than that. Harmful yeah. might be making you vomit or making you uh, sleepy or making you uh, feeling so dizzy. That's harmful. But if you consume it once again, more than it should be, then it will kill you. Mm. Uh, food poisoning, yes, food poisoning. When you eat something and the food contains a poison, ingest, ingest, uh, process of when you eat something, yeah. ingest, insecticide, irritate, uh, warning labels, spoil, prevention, poison. Okay, I think it's no specific vocabularies that you don't know. Yeah. Mm. Household. Well, I think you can get all the rest. This is very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I have experienced this one. Uh, that was yeah. so bad. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. just, be, just because I want to eat it, I like the food. And when I saw the man who made the food, the man doesn't wear any gloves. He was just naked hand. Mm. He touched here and there. And he cleaned it up, and I just ate it. I should not eating that. So, well, that was my suggestion for people who sell food in that kind of situation. At least build sort of like glass to protect the food so that the food doesn't get into the dust. Counseling. Okay, we have counseling alone, pregnant, get help. <laughs> <laughs> Single mother. It's it's weird when you are alone but you get pregnant. It's weird. That's that's alien conspiracy over there. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I don't know. Do you agree with abortion? No, don't. No, no don't. No, that's male. Thing. I'd like to hear from woman. Whoa, I'm not a woman then. Yeah. So, what about Tiara? Do you agree with abortion? Or not? What's that? Abortion. Abortion. No, I'm not agree. You know, uh, you disagree, yes, I know. right? So, mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, I believe that most women who really take care of their body would say no to abortion, right? because it's uh, it's really bad it's damaging the woman's body um because i heard like this some some news some hot uh, topics overseas on online media i i heard that some women agree to do abortion especially when um, when she had been raped and then she got pregnant and then she decided to do abortion what would you think about that Man, well, it was her fault at the first place because she in the in that case they they can just have a slap over like that, but they don't use uh, uh in this case construct uh, contraception or something like that. Mm -hmm. But if they already did that, they at least consider to uh, what do you call it a foster home for the child mm -hmm. if you it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. instead, of, oh, yeah. instead of doing abortion right yeah so um my other question is like this one is it possible for a woman to be pregnant just just being raped once uh that's questionable maybe i think <laughs> not no no yeah you know, it's it's a very debatable issue some people say that a woman can do abortion after she was raped, for example. Well, you know, in, in the West, not in here, if some some girls experience that in here, but they don't say anything about it. Maybe the doers or the rapists sometimes can be from a family member, friend, 
or even can be a teacher so it's uh, that happens and this girl was raped and she was pregnant overseas of in the US or England even in Australia for example uh, some women decide to do abortion abortion what would you think about that that's a shame really yeah, shame. it's it's a uh, now my question is how could a man get to know this girl that's the question how could in what way so it's a very debatable in that situation so when this kind of thing happened that's why uh, it says alone pregnant get help this is counseling so teenagers need to understand uh, the biological learning about sexual education what is your role what what sex do you have what do you want to be and what can you do about it what you cannot do about it girls and boys need to know about that one don't just because you like someone and then you meet and you hang out and you suddenly you do that imagine the girl will get pregnant and you are not ready to be a father wow that's that's terrible that's... i would blame them both <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, of course you will. I would blame, I would blame them both. Both, yeah, it's, that's my. They just straight out stupid. Yeah, we can see that. For 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 girls, if you are still young and you are not mature yet, you should let your parents know whenever wherever you go, and you need to go home before dark. That's for sure. And if you wanted to meet someone stranger. Please accompany with your friend so that you are not alone. Or you are invited to a party and you want to drink something from a glass. Um, it's a birthday party, for example. I would prefer not the drink that I receive, but I ask for another drink, not with that glass. So you need to be really careful. Yeah, so that is, um, I have... I have read that a girl experienced that she went to her friend's birthday party and one of her friends gave her a glass of I think it's uh, like Fanta or Sprite Fanta and yeah, she right. drank it and after that she felt so terribly sleepy felt so yeah. sleepy and suddenly she she <laughs> fell asleep in the couch you know couch so far and she fell asleep and she didn't know what happened afterward when she woke up in the following day when where she was about to go to school she found her body a bit weak and something going on in her thighs and uh, you know thigh yeah. uh -huh. yes. so she went home and she, she she didn't know what happened and then one day her mother asked her um what happened to you uh, are you sick you don't want to go to school you feel so tired and she felt a bit uh, dizzy and almost vomit every morning it's like that um, yeah. but not really vomiting and she went to the doctor and the doctor said that the girl was pregnant and she was shocked so when she tried to remember what happened, um, a few days before she went to a, a birthday party, so she tell her the thing and her blood was taken out to be tested in the laboratory. And it was found out that there is a set, certain, um, not poison, a certain um, chemical substance that can make you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. So be really be really careful. Mm -hmm. It's good to be to be social. Gaul itu bagus, tapi jangan terlalu gaul. Yeah. Nanti dipur gaul ni. Well, that's, yeah. Gaul well, itu well. bagus, tapi jangan terlalu gaul. Nanti dipur gaul ni. Yeah. Okay. Don't be paranoid, ya. Yeah. Don't be paranoid just because you see someone good looking. Oh, you are dangerous. No, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Uh, Hello. Don't, Hello. <laughs> don't be like that. So don't don't be scared too much. Um 
Okay, improve improvement, stress reduction. This is this is interesting. Um, mental health is good. Your the health of your body is good, but your mental mental health is also good. It's important to be taken care of. Mental health, yes, that mental your mind. Okay, all right. That was it. Our about our topic related to health. Your body, your mental, your mind, your soul, you need to really take care of that. Okay, now, oh, I like this picture. Look at this, this man. So wow. Yeah. <laughs> Look more. at the way he spends. It's, I think it's a girl also, it's a man. That's yeah. gender, but that's, man. Gender, you can say that. It's not allowed. It's a man. Yeah, it's a man in a woman pose. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a man. Look at this. His beard. He has a mustache. Beard. Come on, he has a mustache. Yeah, he's a man. But, but I don't like the way he stands, though. Look at this. That's natural. That's gender um, natural. Well, most women stand like that, you know, with, with her hands like that. Come, the, the, this body language, to me, it means come here. You're just disrespecting women. Come here, I want to smash you. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, I want to smash you with this thick. <laughs> oh Look at God. his, his, what in his, in his hand. Yeah, it's this uh, bolt stick. <laughs> yeah, okay, I get oh. it now. Mm -hmm. There's something, something, something. Mm -hmm. And so many bones in here. Imagine you lift. <laughs> What you think of is only eating. Yeah. I don't want to stay in this kind of life, I think. <laughs> oh my God. Have you watched Flintstone? Uh, Have you watched no, Flintstone? No. no, no. You should. Flintstone is, is like um, life in the old season, in the old time, but they have technology they have helicopter they have nice car but they live among the dinosaurs with this kind of clothes <laughs> it's interesting oh, yeah. I it's a I have watch it sir okay but just a little bit when my mm -hmm. brother watch it i like flintstone it, it it just show me that no matter where you live no matter where you stay you should remain who you are that's the point of the Flintstone. Don't blame the condition. Don't blame environment. It's it's in your mind. So you can stay in anywhere on earth, but if you are more um, backward, <laughs> the environment okay. doesn't help you. So that's related to your mind. Okay, this is tenant landlord. Okay, we're going to talk about this next week. So next week will be our last class, right? Oh, yeah. I will stop sharing here. So, Final examination has come. Yeah. So we'll meet uh, in the next semester, so in the next term. Uh, oh. I, I don't know. <laughs> we hope. We have uh, well, if you can, you can ask to Bu Diana if you would like to know more uh, for the next semester. Usually, I would be like to, to teach about literature. Uh, and cross-cultural understanding, but we need to see the curriculum first, whether they have that or not. Miss Yana, actually, Miss Yana has sent me your score and your attendance list to me, so I'm, I'm about to enter those into the portal. And so the score will be half and half. I give you a half score, and then uh, she gave a half score. But anyway, I'd like to stop the recording. I don't want people listen to our um, internal conversation all right for the learning material do you have any question no no i think it's, no. it's quite, quite easy and interesting for you to know all about that all right i will stop the recording mm -hmm. okay all right.